Okay. What's up, Miri? Um, no, it's so lovely to see you. How's it felt like? I mean, I guess you didn't get the chance to see all the old crew. I know. I'm kind of sad I wasn't here yesterday to see Stacy and Lauren and Shane Your and Jake. Husband. My husband. Your husband. That's right. Which I'm so curious to ask you about. <laughs> the fact that Emma marries Spinner and where do you think they're living right now? Are they happy? You know what? I just did an interview in the other room and I said no. I don't I, I don't think they're together. I think, I think Sean came back from yes. Afghanistan. Yes. I think they got a divorce probably about a week or two after it happened. <laughs> an they realized the temp an annulment. Yes. Temporary <laughs> insanity. Yes. And um yeah, you know, Sean served his time in Iraq. He's back. And, and he's back to take his girl. Yeah, they're baking cookies. So I thought <laughs> maybe they're living in Wasega Beach. Exactly, I the mean, trailer park. <laughs> you reminded me today that I thought that like Sean was hanging out in Wasega Beach. No, he went to like Iraq. He went to Iraq. That's... He fought for the cause. I didn't even, I didn't even remember that. Yeah. Which is really cool because right now in, in real life, Daniel Clark is like working in politics. Exactly. He's like a political commentator on yes. TV in the States, it's living in New true. York. And I, I mean, I <clears throat> barely keep in touch with him. Like, it's a shame, like here and there, like maybe on Instagram or something, but I've lost touch with so many of you guys. I know, it's because of so many years has gone. Well, I was going to ask, can you believe season one, you kicked it all off as Emma? In 2001. So That's how old were you? Crazy. We're the same age. So I, um, I'm a year younger. Okay. I was so for me that was the end of grade eight. I remember missing my grade eight graduation to go to the CTV fall launch, and yeah, and so here you were we like are. Thirteen years old. Yeah, and now we're like these two grown ups. Two. Yeah. <laughs> two yeah I mean, we're doing our best. Them. I think we've done pretty well growing up. I think. I, I think, think I, I learned I think to figure we did too. Okay, me too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Degrassi kind of taught us. We didn't Everything have to make mistakes to for ourselves. Exactly. We did it vicariously through yeah, each other. Yeah, no gonorrhea in the throat here. Good. Yeah, yeah me I'm, neither. So I'm really glad that we got that warning through Emma. Thank you. Anytime, guys. And Jay. Just stay away from Jay. <laughs> um, I've always been so curious about season one. It's like this yeah. thing that I was not a part of. Yeah. And I look back and I just think, oh, God, like, because I came in in season two, but season one was just truly the beginning. What did I miss? You What was missed. it like? Seriously. See, I mean, the, for me, the first day of season one was completely surreal. I had no freaking clue what I was doing. I didn't know what scenes I was supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure I came in with my full script memorized. Oh my god, so cute. Like, like no it was a play. Idea. Like it was a play. Totally. I was like, okay, am I performing now? I had no idea. Um, I mean, I think you missed a lot of the... Um, you came in at a good time. Season one was about us figuring out where our mark was, where our light is, how to physically be on set. And yeah. you came in and it was like smooth sailing, like we kind of like worked Well, you guys taught out. me. You really guys taught me. Good. Because I remember I would turn to you guys and I would turn to like Lauren and you know, I'd be like, I don't know what to do because I'd never been on the set. Yeah. So like, I don't know what that means. Like, yeah. I don't know what, why do I, like when they were saying like, you know, watch your mark, I was like, what does that mean? Right. Like my marks at school? Yeah. Because I think I'm doing all right. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I thought it was a favor. I thought some nice man was just being nice <laughs> to me, putting a sticker on the floor for me. I didn't realize it was a thing. Like, I had to, like, look with, uh, it without looking at it. Um, yeah. Was the initial introductions weird? Because, like, none of you guys, Lauren and, and, and Ryan had known each other. Right. Since fifth grade alien. So, I think that was the only people who had known each other. So what happened? I think, I think I was cast before they had cast Liberty, before they had cast Manny, and maybe even one other, because I remember reading with them. I already... Which makes sense, because you were the beginning. Like, this show's technically built around your character. Which is crazy. Yeah. And, uh, yes, because I remember being in Cassie's audition, and I remember, I think, Sarah Barabal, who played Liberty, and Cassie, I think they both read for, like, Different both parts. roles or yeah, yeah. something like that, because I remember reading with them. So then when finally we did meet, I had met those girls before, and I saw Chrissy, who played Terry. Yes. I remembered her from my audition, because I think we were, like, chatting. We had the same agent or something like that. So, yeah. Is that a bit surreal that the whole concept of Degrassi, as like we know it from 2001 upward, is revolves around your character. Because, I mean, for people who don't know, Spike, a character from the original Degrassi, um, you're her daughter. Emma's her daughter. 
Yeah, it's it's a little the result crazy. of a teenage pregnancy, which was the issue back then. Exactly, <clears throat> and it's nice. I mean, the the issue carries. I mean, we've seen it in all the generations. Mm-hmm. Is teens teens have babies? They yeah. have to deal with being young and having all this responsibility. But I, I mean, think it's interesting. What's cool about your character is that in the Degrassi, correct me if I'm wrong, in the Degrassi world, you're the only like teen baby that was kept. I think you're right. And I'm so grateful Spike kept you because we would not have like we would not have had this. <laughs> thank you, Spike. Thank you. <laughs> That's all thanks, Spike. Yeah, no, it, it's true. And you know what? Like I remember um, the only time I'd ever seen Degrassi was in health class. No, they showed me in school. They showed me they showed one episode. I'm pretty sure. Like this was back in grade five. Like I don't I didn't really remember. I just remembered the, the song. And then when I got this audition, I was like, oh yeah, isn't that show that I watched? I'm so curious what episode that would have been. I feel like it I feel like it would have been the pregnancy episode. Yeah. I don't remember because I was probably like passing notes in class. Isn't that and not so thinking. bizarre? It would have been that episode and then you are the result of that. Pregnancy. Right? <laughs> It's That's so cool. It's it's pretty insane and it's amazing. I mean, now here we are, fourteen years later. later. Yeah. Remember when you had that van and we would go the to green the mall minivan. for lunch? Yes. <laughs> it was my mom's green minivan, yeah. and I we'd all be like, her. "I remember they didn't let us leave. They yes. didn't like when we left the compounds because they couldn't trust that we'd come back." <laughs> so like, and like the gate would open, and all of a sudden, someone would see that there was a minivan filled with the whole oh, cast racing cast. away. <laughs> And we're like, oh screw god. you, we'll be back. Oh my god, that's too funny. Um, and then we'd have all our cell phones would be rigging and we ignore it. All just so that we can go to a strip mall and get like a Tim right? Hortons coffee. I think we just wanted to be rebels. We yeah. just wanted to leave the compound. Totally. We wanted to be, and looking back, that we could have been so much worse. We were a good oh, yeah. crew. Oh, we were yeah. really well behaved. We were very well There was well a couple behaved. house parties that no one yeah. has to know about. But other than that, I thought we did a good job. We did a really good job. Emma, today at lunch we were talking about her guys. Yes. Is there a standout guy for Emma, you think? Well, for me, the standout guy is Sean. It has to be Sean. Good choice. I mean, she had some indiscretions. I was trying, I was thinking about it, like, why did she date Kelly? Why did she date Damien? Why did she date Chris Sharp? Chris Sharp. <laughs> we don't, we don't know. No. We don't know. <laughs> Emma, like, as she got old, turned into a bit of a hoochie. She was getting around. She was, she really was. She started out this environmentalist, this cause yeah, girl, never like, kissed a no boy. Gen- and, no, uh, I remember, like, you were campaigning one time for, like, genetically, like, against genetically modified I remember foods. that, too. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess she, um... <laughs> She got. She came into herself. She came, she came into herself. She really yeah, she did. did. She she gained a lot of bracelets. <laughs> she gained yeah. a lot of bracelets. Yeah, she did. I got this one from Shane Kipple. <laughs> oh wow! In in the ravine, no doubt. <laughs> yes, the alleged <laughs> ravine. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, Sean was always just a character that I loved. Yeah. Also, because I've said this often, I'm going to keep repeating it until Danny Clark hears it that I just had the biggest crush on Danny Clark. <laughs> My whole life. Danny, did you hear that? Danny, you this know. One. He's this just one. so charming and he was just such a bad boy. Bad boys. I right. think it's because Emma was attracted to some bad boys. Why? Totally. Why I think, think it's that? that thing of the good girl and the bad boy and the opposites attracting and yeah, like Sean coming from the wrong side of the tracks and Emma dealing with this image of, oh, she's so, she's so prudish and she's so proper and she just likes the environment and then here comes someone who wakes up a whole different side of herself um, and vice versa. Sean probably loved it. Yeah, because there was this little nerdy girl that was yeah. going to show him what it's like to be cared for. <clears throat> and Emma was a great influence on him. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So how do we avoid bad boys? Is there like advice that like, are, are they worth avoiding? Like for all the, all the, all the teens in high school. You See, know? that's why Taylor Swift exists, <laughs> isn't so she? So true, you're so right. She isn't, teaches us all about isn't that. that. Isn't that her, her, her goal in life? <laughs> Date the bad boy, write a song about them. Exactly. Blank space, if I had a blank space baby, I'd put Sean's name in that <laughs> ASAP. A, a, a scene that I have with Emma so strong in my, Im- uh, in, a strong image in my head is the shooting and just the gun. Right. In her face. Yes. It was absolutely terrifying. Absolutely How was it terrifying. shooting that scene? I know that you probably have spoken about it, but... It was absolutely terrifying. It really was. I remember how scary it was knowing it was a real gun, knowing how before we filmed they would have to... It was sh- a real gun? Yep. They had to show the cast and crew that it's not loaded. It's just empty. That they had someone on, like a, I guess they call it like a gun wrangler, who was handling it, was the only person that could... It was terrifying. And for that split second moment, like... Obviously, as an actor, you try and be as present as you can, and so I, 
I but felt no, what it's like. Gun in your face. To have a gun pointed at my head. Yeah. yeah. Sc- like, and a gun is sc- a scary thing to me. I mean, just yeah. terrifying. For sure. The energy on set was tense. Everybody, everybody was in a zone that day that mm-hmm. we were shooting and filming. Sorry to. Um, pun intended. No, no <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I, I, I love the way that was produced. It kind of felt like, you know, was it like Elephant that Gus Van Sant movie? It was yes. Like, really, it was like quiet exactly. and really slow. And then on top of all of this drama, Sean steps in front of you. He was going to take a bullet for Emma. Yes. If that's not love, what is? I agree. I agree. I don't know if Spinner would take a bullet for Emma. I, 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 don't, I don't think Spinner would. No. I think Spinner would be popping down to the dot, making a grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know she was back on the show recently? Really? Yeah, playing somebody who works at a dot, like playing Spinner working at the dot. No like way. In season 14. Let me guess, season. He, he had no ring on his finger, did he? <gasps> Holy sh. <laughs> sh- right. Holy sugar. You are right. I don't think he had a ring. Emma and that Spinner. That is a nice little plot clearly got twist. Divorced. I think we have all the evidence now. <laughs> um, behind the scenes memory. Is there something that stands out? Um, I mean, like, there's so many behind-the-scenes memories. Like, when we were just chatting at lunch about our dressing rooms, and I think back to, you know, at lunchtime, and Cassie and I would be blasting our Shakira, having, like, a dance Amazing. party in our dressing Whenever, room. Whenever, wherever. At yeah, that time, yeah, exactly. We would all pile into someone's room yeah. and, like, sit around, and hair and makeup would have to call us 15 times because we... Because we were be, moving at a glacial pace. We were moving at a glacial pace. <laughs> Do you remember the tutoring room? And oh, God, that room. the efforts to try and pull us in there. Seriously, we'd be sitting in there, and they'd be like, all right, what homework do you guys have? We're like, we don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. And no, I still, I mean, like I was saying, I just still remember exactly where your dressing room was. Yeah. you would be the first people I would see when I walk in, you and Cassie, just totally. to my right, the first room in the hallway. Totally. would be like, hey, girls. Hey, girls, what's up? What's up? Yeah? Um, were you in the food fight? I was in the food Wasn't fight. That, that was one of my favorite moments. That ever. was pretty fun. I don't know if I've ever told you this story because it probably happened on the other side of the room. Yeah. But there was this one, and I just shared it. But the, I shared it with a group of people. Nobody found it funny because I don't, they weren't there. But I feel like you might. So um, Aubrey opens up a Joe Louis to chuck it because at that <laughs> point, like we were just loving that we got to have a food fight yeah. by permission. Yeah. So we were like almost ready to chuck chairs. So Aubrey finds a Joe Louis, opens it, and he throws it at Jake. <laughs> Jake Goldsby was just running by at the time, and me and Jake Goldsby were like little little ones, and we were running by at the time. And I watched it perfectly because I was beside oh Aubrey. God. It just went, and it just like the cream in the I middle just suction on his ear, and then he pulls it off, but it's all filled with cream, so he can't hear, and he starts running around screaming, "Cut! Cut!" I laughed so hard that I fell, I actually, and I pulled Aubrey down with me, including like four this. background performers, and I had like a <laughs> twisted knee with like a brace around for like a week after. Poor, J- poor Jake is poor deaf Jake. From, from Joe Louis here. <laughs> oh my god. So, testing out some Emma trivia. This one I think you're gonna get because we had chatted about it before. But like, what guy was Emma and Manny fighting over at the '80s dance? Craig Manning. Who was dressed up as? Sid Vicious. Yes. And who were you dressed up as? Cindy Lauper. I love when Spike goes, what are you doing at some party dressed up as me? I'm not you, I'm Cindy, Cindy Lauper. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember who Cassie was dressed up as? She was Molly Ringwald. Yeah, good yeah. one. And uh, who was Aubrey dressed up as? Michael Jackson? Yes. And Shane. Oh shoot, who was Shane? Me and Lauren had was a disagreement he, like, on this. Yes, or something? I yeah. thought it was Vanilla Ice. <laughs> And then Lauren was like, just because he's white? I'm like, no, <laughs> just because he was dressed as vanilla. But then her response was actually better. It was the 80s. That wasn't vanilla. Um, do you remember right. what Lauren was dressed as? Madonna. Genius. Yeah. Um, uh, who else? Andrea, Andrea was Tina Turner. Killing it. And right. do you remember Christina? I forget. Oh, shoot. What was what she? Was Lauren told me. Lauren remembered. Oh, my God. Uh, Pat Benatar. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then do you know what? Nobody can remember, including myself. What was Mr. Simpson dressed up? What was Snake dressed up as? And I remember you kind of walk up to him and he's like, I'm hip, I'm right. with it, something like that. Oh my God, that's exactly what he did. What on earth was he? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think cool. this is going to be, any fans out there that remember, please just tweet at it. Tweet at us about because I have no yeah, clue. no clue. I wonder if Stefan knows. <laughs> that's a good question. I'm going <laughs> to just test him randomly, just one day. Um, okay, on the same Stefan train, old school one. In school's out. Yeah. 
don't worry, we'll bleep this out so you can say the full sentence. But what, fill in the blank, what Caitlin says to Joey. You were f***ing Tessa who? Campanelli. Killed it. <laughs> you were f***ing Tessa Campanelli. I love that line. That's a great line. Don't you wish we got to use the F word on the show? I really do. I think that would be great. Oh my god, yeah. Like Emma marrying Spinner and like, I f***ing do! <laughs> Well, there's so many moments we could have sworn because the, the drama was so high. Seriously. I guess my last question is, how do you just now, looking back at the show, what's your, what do you take away from all these years now? Well, I remember you describing it when, when the show finished. It, it felt like being dropped off in the Sahara Desert yeah. and not really knowing which way to go because we, we created such a world together. Like, we had... It was our world. Like, we were friends. We had our... our events and our life and our crew was like our family like it was like it was like a whole world so I mean I think it's like literally like a chapter of our life that yeah. we'll always have together no one else will really understand it totally. it's like a little secret that we all kind of share yeah we're just all we're the only ones in on this whole joke it feels it, like it's a it's totally a joke it is and then there's all these people on the outside that are watching it as like this show that's lasted how many years yeah, it's like iconic brand and for us it, it kind of is just like real life yeah all right thank you for hanging out of course you. and uh until next time if you have any plot ideas for marco and emma in the future shoot it our way <laughs>